primera vez. Primera vez, sí. Primera, primera. Vas para una casa particular. Casa particular, sí. Tienes la dirección. Sí, ya. Bueno, un momento. On my lens. So we're at the airport right now. We're, well, I'm at the airport right now, getting on a flight to Havana. This video is the first of a series that I'm going to be posting from Havana with tips about how to travel to Cuba. So if you're thinking about going to Cuba, hopefully these are exciting too. First of all, getting there is very easy. I'm flying out of New York. I'm flying through Newark, United, down, and then I'm flying Spirit back. I've never flown Spirit. I hear it just sucks. One thing that surprised me was that the flights to Cuba have been really inexpensive. There's a ton of overcapacity right now. On this flight, I think it's only half full. I've heard that the airlines are going to cut back flights soon, so then of course the flights will be fuller and the prices will go up. There is of course the US embargo uh, that's still in place, so technically it is illegal to travel to Cuba. However, there are 12 categories for which a US citizen can obtain a visa. As long as you qualify, it is extremely simple. We're getting ready to land in Havana. This is a really, really excited trip. And just the idea that we're making the Startup Cuba film and we're gonna be talking to Cubans and going in to their homes and all these cool places and like going deep into the community is extremely. Oh, see? Sí. Sí. All right, so we're here. We're in 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 Havana, and uh, we're going to the Casa Particular. I couldn't take you in the airport. There's like it's like a big no-no. I walk up, you walk up. There's like uh, security. It's like TSA, and all of the security guards are like these very attractive women in military like uni color uniform with like short skirts and these like crazy stockings they have all these crazy stockings and i'm like it's like it's you can't not notice that this is happening anyway i was talking to this guy who lives here and he was telling me that uh stockings are a status symbol you can't get them here and so their ability to get them because they're associated with like government positions i don't know why um shows status so that was pretty cool Oh, and the other thing is American bank cards don't work, so your debit, your, your credit card do not work. So you have to come here with all of the cash you need. So like right now I have a load of cash in my bag, like uncomfortably a lot of cash in my bag right now. And I converted it to the Cuban currency, which I'll explain in another video. Anyway, I knew that. Everyone knows that. I just posted that before you come here. And this guy got off the plane, he walks over to the ATM, and he's like, this card doesn't work. He's like, how do I get money? And I just, poor guy. Anyway, enjoy the ride. Okay, so I've been here not a long time. Here, here's my room, you ready? Everyone is so unbelievably friendly. Like they go out of their way to be accommodating. Um, when I got off the plane, I was a little bit put off actually because I went outside the airport and I just walked up to some counter and said, where can I get money? And then this guy's like, I'm gonna take you and I'm in Spanish and I was like, no, I don't want you to take me. And he's like, I'm taking you to the bank. And I'm like, well, I need the bank here in the airport. And he's like, come on. And I thought he was, uh, just cause I'm, you know, like just, I don't know, I'm programmed to not trust anybody. I thought he was gonna take me, like try to get me in a cab and like take me to some bank and have to pay him or something. And he just literally just walked me over to the bank and that was it. My room is over here. And it, I gotta tell you, it's pretty cool. So uh, the bed, no windows. I mean a window, but there's no glass. And then, uh, bathroom so pretty cool let's see shower this is really nice actually for here toilet and toilet paper and a toilet seat I've been told there's not a lot of toilet seats in Havana um, one thing I've noticed so far actually two things I noticed is that these old cars that 
just kick out these fumes. And so everywhere you go, you smell that. And then the other thing I noticed is that it's a noisy city, but in a good way, because everyone's out in the streets together and there's like music and there's, and there's roosters on the roofs. It's pretty cool. You could tell it's very family oriented and communal where everyone is kind of out. Very nice, everyone's, you see, we're gonna go outside, we'll go out and walk a little bit. about to eat that garlic. Oh. See? See? Sin pelo para viente años. Tú no, tú nunca vas a estar pelo. No pelo. <laughs> Adiós. ¿Qué? ¿Qué? ¿Country? ¿Country? Estados Unidos, sí. Mañana, tomorrow I'm bringing you guys here for your fingers. Manicures. Sí, manicures. Oh, pelo para mí. <laughs> Guys, thank you so much for watching my arrival into Havana today. Hopefully some of the tips that I offered were helpful. In my next video, I'm gonna talk about lodging. I'll talk about hotel versus Casa Particulars. I think you wanna stay in a Casa Particular. If you haven't yet, please subscribe to my YouTube channel so you get notified when my next Cuba video comes out. In the meantime, from Havana, thank you so much. We'll have a new video out real soon. Bye. Hola, Hola Gallo. ¿Qué tal? Entra, entra. <laughs> 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 <laughs>